Yo, what is up guys? It's me, the Gaming Toast, and welcome back to another video. Where today I'm going to be showing you how to make the BRM in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 overpowered. If you do enjoy, please make sure to like and subscribe for daily videos like this one in this series. So um let's get straight into it, shall we? Call of Duty points are now in Infinite Warfare, and if you want some free card points, go down in the link in the description below and get some free card points. Hey, what is up guys? It's me, The Gaming Toast, and welcome back to another video, where today I'm going to be showing you how to make the BRM in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 overpowered. Now, I've seen a lot of YouTubers use this gun as their main weapon. Like, I've seen a girl on YouTube use this weapon in all of her videos. So, I'm sure you guys will enjoy using this gun, because... She gets, like, hundreds of kills during her videos, and she uses really good tactics, gets her score streaks really fast, and she's usually in first place. But right now, I'm going to be talking to you about, like, the tactics you can use and how good it is and that. So, for me, it's probably, like, my third favorite gun after the VMP and the CUDA. But this is probably, like I said, after the CUDA. Um, it is a, a light machine gun, which makes it very good in recoil and um, fire rate. So, my favorite thing about it is it shoots slow, but not super slow. So, if we can get this video to 2,000 likes, I'll do another video like this one. So, um, yeah, anyways, back to the gun. Um, if we can, if we can hit, give this, um, gun some love, people will probably start using it a little more and make this probably one of the b best loved guns in call of duty black ops 3 but at the moment for me it's the vmp and the cuda those are my most loved guns in this game um but yeah it, it shoots slow but when you add attachments it kind of shoots a little faster and once you add perks it reloads just just a little faster too so when you, the best map to play it on is Nuketown, because that is that's probably the smallest map, and it also has um uh also has it like squish it squishes in the players so that there's more people in one area. So that it's easier to get more kills and you can run in groups with your teammates. Now, if you're online, if you want to run in groups, you might want to get like maybe four or five, maybe six people. So there'd be three running in one group and three running in the other. But um, the specialist I use is the... Um, I forget. Oh. But it does use um BRM, I think. Yeah. Um free card points are down in the link in the description if you want some. Um but yeah. Oh yeah, Call of Duty points are now in Infinite Warfare, which is good actually cuz I have Infinite Warfare. And I have Black Ops 3, which I do videos on. Now, I'm not just going to do videos on Black Ops 3. Once I cover all the weapons in Black Ops 3, I'll show you guys some weapons in Infinite Warfare. So, I think it's really good to travel in groups with this weapon. Because you really don't have to aim. Whenever you're traveling in groups, like, you could be in the back. Like, your front area. Your front um, teammates could be in the front then you could be kind of like the turret in the back um so yeah that could kind of be something right there um and when you're also when you're playing capture the flag like me right now um 
um, I probably said it wrong, but when you're playing, like, a different game mode rather than Team Deathmatch or Free For All, this weapon does very well, except it's not amazing compared to the CUDA, but it's, it's, it's good, it's good, that's all I gotta say, it's good, but, um, what I have to say personally to this gun is, I love it. It it's amazing. It's not like super duper awesome, but it is very very good. So um yeah. Um what would you do if you had this gun in real life? That's the question of the day. Question of the day, what you, what would you do if you had this weapon in real life? Now, one of the attachments I'm going to tell you guys is it has grip. That's, I'm only going to tell you one of those attachments. It's grip. And um, I'm, and then the scythe, it, it's pretty good. The scythe is it's awesome, but it's not, like, amazing, you know? You know? You know what I'm saying? It shoots really fast. It kills people quick. But I think the VMP, the CUDA, and the BRM, which is what we're talking about today, is the best guns in the game. That's, that's what I think. And, um... The BRM has... Mm, good, good recoil. But not amazing. So... I'm going to put it up on the screen now. As you can see, it has the ELO sight. It has um, quick draw and stock. And for the pistol, we have a RK5. The perks are Afterburner, Scavenger, Tactical Mask, and Fast Hands. So, both of my weapons that I'm using are max level. But, that doesn't make them better than the normal one it just makes them like just a little better than normal but i am going to have to end the video here but for any of you who just started watching um i'm sorry that i'm gonna have to end the video so if you do enjoy it please make sure to like and subscribe for daily videos like this one and make sure to turn on post notifications to join team toast for daily videos like this one apart from that hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video goodbye